Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Dr. Fazl Show. And now, here is Dr. Fazl. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Dr. Fazl. I'm here today for March 2023 uh, edition of Dr. Fazl TV show. Um, so we know March is the start of the spring and spring is very common for allergies. So the topic of the discussion today is allergies. Now, when we talk about allergies, it's not about allergies about the food or allergies about the medication. It's allergies in general, right? So we get um, uh, symptoms of allergies which uh, are like um, uh, runny nose, cough, sinuses, stuff like that. And um, we, um, most of us, you know, one part of our life or the other have suffered through allergies. So the allergies can present with, as I said, you know, most typical symptoms of, you know, or like a runny nose, cough, sneezing, you know, and that's like your upper respiratory tract uh, uh, allergies symptoms. But then we also have other kind of allergies, which are uh, other symptoms of allergies, which are not very evident. And that can present with the joint pains. It can present with asthma. See, remember asthma is also an allergic condition. A lot of people don't know. People think asthma is not an allergy. So, um, so asthma is an allergy condition. Uh, the airway, the upper airway reacts to pollens or anything else which can trigger the uh, uh, allergic reaction in the airway. It constricts, it causes shortness of breath and wheezing. And that could be pollens in the air, something we inhale, something we eat, and sometimes even the exercise or cold air. Uh, there's an uh, asthma which is uh, induced by uh, doing exercise because you inhale cold air, so that's kind of allergy, right? So it can affect different wide spectrum of our life. So it uh, also can cause uh, non-specific symptoms like fatigue, tiredness. So I have, uh, I remember a patient which I was seeing in my practice and uh, uh, what, what was happening was that uh, she was losing weight and having bad allergies and we couldn't know what was going on and find out that she have a, has an air conditioner which was le leaking free on gas and she had an, ins an uh, insurance company which was actually causing repair on it but they probably didn't diagnose that there was a leak and they was fixing it with cheap uh, um, solutions until the day she find out that you know she was actually might be allergic to the gas which was leaking and it has no smell so she ended up changing the air conditioner unit and after that her symptoms were totally gone she, she started to regain weight and energy and everything else so there as i said so that uh, uh, the impact of allergies could be wide spectrum it could affect your daily life your social life and your even your uh, work work life as well so we have to be vigilant about that um, other kind of allergies are like a skin rash, you know, uh, even um, a food allergy can present with something like diarrhea, it's a certain kind of food which we are allergic to, you eat the food and right away you get um, um, like a diarrhea or abdominal pain or cramps. So that could be also linked to the food allergies. So that's like a, in a nutshell, uh, the symptoms of allergies, shortness of breath, skin rash, runny nose, cough, sometimes even drop in blood pressure. I, I, I'm actually, as a matter of fact, I remember a patient she was so much allergic to so many things that every time she will go to a certain uh, aisle of a, 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 like a local store, she will pass out. And everybody was trying to find out if she's having a seizure disorder, epilepsy or anything else and nobody could find out. Till we figured that out that she has a, a, a history of uh, strong allergies to various things. So when she could, would walk to that aisle in that store, uh, she will inhale those fumes from those uh, things they were selling and it was so strong for her that it will drop her blood pressure and she will pass out. And uh, she was a, you know, obviously a police officer. So uh, it was uh, obviously um, a big deal for that kind of a profession when, when you go to a certain situation and you just pass out. So once we find out, obviously first thing is avoidance, avoid if you can avoid it, you know, that's the quick fix. O avoid anything which will cause allergies. You know, you can eliminate that food, eliminate the situation, eliminate that uh, 
chemical or whatever that might be. Just like if you're allergic to medication, you don't take that med medication, right? The good news is that we can uh, fix it. You know, we can fix it now. There's a new treatment available. Uh, we call it immunotherapy. So we check uh, with the skin test, you know, like what a person is allergic to. And based on that, we can actually, uh, after that, we can um, do, um, uh, you, you, you know, retrain the body uh, by giving them allergy shots uh, over a period of time, start with the low dose and slowly it goes to the highest dose. So the body doesn't react. So the retraining the immune, immune system of the body so people can, uh, uh, you know, have a normal life. Now there's a medication too, it's not just the immunotherapy. There are medications available for treatment of allergy as well. For example, um, uh, you know, um, antihistamines, Allegra, Zyrtec, those kind of things. There are medications like, um, um, mass cell in, uh, uh, stabilizer, um, uh, like for example, Singulair, uh, that's another medication which, uh, which we use in a different pathway to prevent allergies. Um, and as a matter of fact, Pepsid, which is used for stomach heartburn, not Nexium or Pepsid, is a, Pepsid is a different kind of medication. So Pepsid can also cause a prevention of allergies. So sometimes we give Pepsid, um, you know, Singulair antihistamines, but, you know, if there's acute allergies, like, you know, really bad allergies, then you have to give steroids. That's a different uh, treatment plan. But, you know, if you have extreme allergies and you, you, you have a tendency to pass out or go into shock, yeah, you should have an EpiPen with you all the time. So, like, uh, some people are allergic to bee sting, uh, you know, so they should have EpiPen with them because they can get uh, stung by the bee at any time or some, some kind of food allergies like peanuts. And if they happen to eat them by mistake, they can react adversely and they should have an EpiPen all the time. And everybody should know how to use EpiPen, you know, that's a lifesaver right there. Now you can catch up with all of our previous shows on all Roku devices. Simply search for the Dr. Falso Show channel and add it to your home screen. View our videos online by visiting our website at www.drfalzoshow.com. Our videos are available on YouTube by searching for The Dr. Falzel Show. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Dr. Fazzo Show is available in multiple provider office waiting rooms across Yuma, Arizona. Don't forget to get your copy of Health Tips magazine and read about this interview, currently distributed across Yuma, Arizona. So those are the few um, uh, basic principles of allergies. So for immunotherapy, you know, as we said, you know, we check it, what the patient is allergic to. Then we uh, train the body over a period of time by giving them low dose uh, allergens, what they're allergic to, and then build up the immunity. And uh, over a period of time, they get used to it. It is used mostly for things which are very common in the air, because the things which are not very common in the air, you can avoid those things. But things which are common in the air, you cannot avoid. You cannot stay in a glass bubble or, you, you know, a bubble like that. So that's why we, it's important for us to uh, be vigilant about uh, allergies, you know. As a patient, as a person, uh, you should also know that, that if you're not feeling good, it has to be something else. And it could be uh, subtle allergies, you know, which can present with uh, tiredness, weakness, fatigue, and not feeling good, you know, so remember that. Um, so, um, um, it's, a, it's a lengthy topic, it's a complicated topic, so that's why the basic stuff we can, uh, could be handled by your family care doctor, primary care doctor, but if you do have, you know, advanced allergies or allergies which are recurrent or not getting better, uh, you should be seen by uh, allergy immunologists or allergy specialists which are actually formally trained on training allergies, you know, so that's um, another thing we have to be vigilant about. So, so, um, 
So that's the nutshell of allergies, right? So allergies can present with, um, as I said, um, skin rash, um, food allergies like diarrhea, it can present with shortness of breath, like asthma, it can present with uh, sinus issues like um, your runny nose, cough, sneezing, uh, generalized symptoms like uh, fatigue, tiredness, uh, joint pains, not feeling good, and um, it could be due to the things in the air, things in the food, medications, you know, in the, in the, in the soap which we use, the soap to wash our clothes, perfumes which we, which we wear. So uh, when we take the history, we take the detailed history to make sure that we can find the culprit, you know, find the cause and try to avoid that if we can avoid that. That's the starting point. Then how you treat it, as I said, we can treat with immunotherapy and, uh, you know, um, or there's certain medications which can be used for symptoms alone. Um, you know, uh, that could be um, antihistamines like Zyrtec, Allegra. The difference between uh, Zyrtec and Allegra is that Allegra is not non rosy versus Zyrtec will make you sleepy or ben Benadryl will make you sleepy. Um, single air is another medication which works in a different path is a prescription. It's not over the counter. Capsid, it can, can also be used for allergies. Uh, for as extreme allergies, use EpiPen. Um, and you can see in the, in the back drop like how, how the uh, EpiPen is being used. Uh, you inject right in your thigh muscle and it could be life-saving, especially if you are allergic, allergic to a lot of things and have strong allergies, you should be careful about that. So that's the allergies and uh, uh, how it can change your life one way or the other. So if we can f diagnose it and fix it, it can um, make your life better and you can feel better and can be more functional and more healthier. So that was my um, brief um, uh, description about allergies. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will be talking more about uh, other topics in the next Dr. Fazal TV show next month. On that note, um, uh, God bless you, God bless America, and have a nice day. Thank you so much. Dr. Fazal here.